Welcome back, XFAM. You know, I've been meaning to talk about this lost chapter or side chapter for a while now. And, you know, I haven't seen anyone else talk about it. Not too many YouTubers talk about reincarnation calcium. I'm surprised because, you know, smut goes a long way when you talk about it on YouTube. And rightfully so, I mean, these are like my highest rated videos. It's always smut, redo of healer, and reincarnation calcium. But it is what it is. I mean, I love you guys when you support me like this. But it's a shame that this chapter didn't get talked about because it goes beyond the sex and gender. And I hate to bring it up like that because like this takes place in the aftermath of the battle between Mikoyami and Catastrophe. Yes, I have to bring Catastrophe up because, you know, I didn't before except in the chapters that it really mattered. And this chapter kind of matters to me and probably to you if you like this sort of thing. And I mean, if you don't, then why are you here? But that's besides the point. So we're talking about catastrophe. Catastrophe is he, she, they, them, she man, whatever the fuck, confuse your dick when you was reading and just like, yo, what is this? What are we doing here? But now with the side chapter, we get what happened after that. Just like everyone else, Alice had a side chapter, Marl had a side chapter and Suzu will get a side chapter two in the next volume, I believe. So be on the lookout for that. But we're gonna talk about Catastrophe because I can't talk about everyone else and not talk about Catastrophe. So jumping into this first day with Catastrophe and we got him struggling. He's still kind of like struggling and coming to terms that, you know, he's gonna get digged down by another guy. He wasn't with it before in the main chapter he got deflowered and that was it. So now we get to see what all happened within the deflowering. <laughs> and I hate to say it like that, but you know, he was taking it from behind like a champ. Remember, he got gender men. So it's not wrong to talk about this or it wasn't wrong to talk about it before. I mean, if it was man on man action, I, I mean, it, I don't know what the fuck to say. I mean. Some people like that stuff. And if you got Yaoi in there, you got Yaoi in there. But I was still gonna talk about it regardless of the sexes because we gotta talk about it. Anyway, took him behind like a champ. I mean, the Hulk couldn't pull Mickey Gami out of that ass. Hey, yo. I love the facial expressions on the first day. And that's gonna be important because when you see it, it's like trying to be the rebel. Catastrophe's trying to be the rebel and not like be submissive don't want to be submissive don't want to be like that because he's still thinking i'm the guy i'm the one that's gonna do it all it's it's just not happening so you get smashed all right day one's over with it is what it is now we on to day two now day two is a little bit different we got marl and alice involved this time and you already know alice had a thing for catastrophe way back and alice mentioned it kind of um when she was peeping after the match and saw Mikiyami and, and Catastrophe kind of like bickering in the corridors. And it was just like, what the fuck? Are they, like, what the fuck were they doing? That's pretty much what Alice was saying. And then he came out and said, I'm a guy. And honestly, I really thought it was going to be a Futa, a Futanari. I thought that was going to happen. And he was, like, he was going to whip out his dick. And I was going to be like, what the fuck is going on? But of course, we didn't get that. Then we get into the side story of this. Alice starts using those damn fingers. Catastrophe gets all moist. And then what she does, she brings that lolly tongue that she got and goes to work. Now, do you all see this tongue? That's the tongue of somebody who's been playing in the pussy their entire life. No wonder Catastrophe looked terrified. Like, holy hell, he deserved to be terrified because who the hell knows what that lolly tongue gonna do? It might be twisting, that, that type shit. You just don't know. And I'm like trying to put these images in your head while you're watching the video so you can understand where I'm coming from with this. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, my girl Marl over here squeezing on the titties hard, which just adds to the stimulation. You, know, you just know her mind is breaking at this point. And I wanna say her mind, I mean catastrophe. I'm gonna start calling him her at this point in the video because it is what it is now if you made it this far in the video though that means you reached day three with your boy and we got more finger action going on marl got his legs up catastrophe kind of just gave up at this point and this is what i was talking about when it comes to facial expression and stuff you can tell he's behaving more 
obedient, submissive, I guess, and letting it happen. I mean, he is the loser, but there's no more fight in his eyes. The stimulation was too much and ends with back shots. And like, I just, you just put everything together from that point forward. At the time of this extra chapter, I do want to bring this up because I don't want to forget. And I do believe I brought up in another video as well, but 500,000 copies were sold. And this is three months ago. Remember, three months ago, nobody really heard of like reincarnation Coliseum like that until like mm, somewhere last year. And, you know, I kind of celebrated that. One of my old videos had like 10K on it from one year ago. And this, that was like chapter four, I believe, with Marl. I hope you all enjoyed the video and Catastrophe's Fall from Grace, if you want to call it that. The last of the four Heavenly Kings. And <laughs> it's just pretty hilarious. I hope you stick around with me for the other Reincarnation Coliseum videos and other videos that I do upload as well. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know, recommend me some more stuff and I may talk about it in one of the videos that I put out. Um, with that said, keep up the grind and I'll see you next time. I'll let you boy.